Hey y'all, it's Paris and I'm back with another video. So today I wanted to come to you guys and I wanted to um, give you guys a testimony about, um, you know, when God had called me to leave my job for the second time, for the second time. Um, and I want to say the second time because if you if you watch my last video, you know that, you know, he, he told me to quit and he provided for me. Well, this time he told me to quit again after me only working there for three months, y'all, only three months. And he told me to quit again. Um, now, I didn't even give a one week or two week notice. Like, I just quit. And so um, I, I just felt like, well, I didn't feel like God basically pushed me out of that job. But anyways, um, let me just show you or tell you guys um, how God pushed me out. So basically, um, I was working at this particular group home. And um, like I said, I was working there for three months. Well, within that second month, I was having the most trouble. It seemed like the residents at that particular group home, they were acting out. When I tell you they were acting out, they were acting out. So I'm used to them acting out every once in a while, but it it had went from it, it had went from them acting out every once in a while to every single day. And so I'm just thinking in my head, okay, maybe God is trying to, you know, toughen me up. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I just started feeling like, you know, maybe God is trying to toughen me up. That's that's why, you know, so much stuff is going on. But I did not see that God was trying to get me out, trying to get me to quit. So, um, you know, I just kind of brushed it off. I was just like, you know what? I'm used to this. Um, you know, basically, I, I just prayed about it and I just kept going. Well, this particular moment um, happened and a resident actually started throwing things at me. And so it was getting to the point to where this particular resident she already didn't like me, but she had never threw things at me. Never, never. But then she started to throw things at me. She started to get into my face. And so it, it's starting to get, you know, a little personal. Well, not personal, but it's, it's starting to get a little physical. And so um, I'm just like, God, you know, you wouldn't put me anywhere and, you know, where I, I would be placed in harm's way. So I was like, are you really calling me here? Or are you trying? Are you trying to, you know, get me to leave? And so I was confused at that point. And y'all, let me tell you this: the only time you are confused is when you are not spending time with God. Okay, you are confused, and you don't know what God is telling you to do because you're not spending enough time with God. For me, during this time, I was only able to, you know, read the verse of the day and read a couple of scriptures because basically this job was consuming my time. And so I wasn't able to like actually study. So I wasn't able to hear God, hear God speak to me. But God was still graceful and he was still showing me signs because I was getting emails of people, you know, trying to interview me. I was getting calls of people, you know, trying to interview me again. And so I was like, okay, God, maybe you are, you know, trying to tell me to leave. But I was like, what am I going to do? And so um, I kept telling myself, like, not right now, not right now. And so, y'all, this was the last straw. I guess God said enough is enough. So that third month, uh, this month right now, May. So I basically quit May the 6th. On May the 6th, that night, uh, one of the residents that I was talking to talking you guys about earlier, she got so mad at me and my coworker. And she went and she tore that home up. When I say tore it up, she was... Um, breaking the windows with the bat breaking like we had cameras in the group home as well so she was um breaking every single camera i think it was like six cameras and she broke all of them she broke the tv like she do, she was just going at everything with the bat and not only that she tried to hit my co-worker you know with the bat and so we had to be put in put in a position to where um we had to lock ourselves up in the office and we had to call the police you know, so it was just like God had put me in a situation where basically I could not even stay in that home if I wanted to 
And when I say stay in the home, I don't mean live there, but I mean work there. So I couldn't work there anymore if I wanted to because basically they tore up the whole house. And so thankfully, thankfully with this particular um, group home, I was, I was working on a different campus. So I wasn't working on the main campus, but I was working on a different campus. So since since the resident um broke all the windows that left everyone with no choice but to move to the main campus and i wasn't going there i had took that as a sign that god said parents it's time to go it is time to go and i prayed about it and i was like god i don't know if you're trying to get me to move to the next campus or if you're just saying it's time to go and so on my way home you know i'm just like I'm, I'm flustered because I'm just like, God, like I've, I've seen things before at a group home, but I've never seen someone tear it up. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I've just never seen it. And so, um, you know, on my way home, I'm driving and God, you know, is just telling me like Paris, this is it. You're not going back to work. This is it. This is it. And so when I realized it, I was like, okay, God, okay. Okay, so I text my boss. I didn't even give a two weeks notice. I text my boss and I told her, I was like, um, hey, I'm sorry, but I will not um, be coming back tomorrow. And so she didn't answer, but she uh, told me to call her the next morning. And I called her and I, um, and I told her everything. And so she said that she understood. And so she was just like, you know, if God is pushing you out, you know, you got to go. And so thankfully, you know, God blessed me with a boss that understood. But either way, I was going to quit. If God told me to quit, I was going to quit eventually, okay? But God had pushed me out because I couldn't even work there anymore. So the next day, my coworkers were calling me and they was like, hey girl, you know, do you know they, they shut that campus down? And I was like, well, that's confirmation. That's confirmation that it was time for me to go. You know, so it was, it was it was like God was trying to warn me the whole time. Like sometimes God will put you in a situation, you know, just like Jonah. God was trying to tell Jonah, hey, I need you to go. I think it was, I think God wanted um, Jonah to go to Nineveh. But Jonah ended up going to Tarshish. And so since he, you know, was disobedient, he ended up in the belly of a whale or a big fish. And basically, you know, God, you know, basically placed some sense into uh, into Jonah. And within three days, you know, the, the, the whale spit him out. And so then he became obedient. And so I think that's what happened to me. It was just like, you know, God had to shake up my whole situation just just for me to see that, hey, Paris, I, I need you to leave this job. I've been trying to tell you. And like I said, you're not going to be able to hear God if you're not spending time with him. If you're not spending time with him, you're not going to know what he wants you to do. Because I, I, I know a lot of people are just like, how do you know God is trying to talk to you? How, how do you know, you know God's voice? You only know God's voice when you're spending time with him. And when I tell you guys, after I left, after I uh, after I sent that message and I said, told my boss that I'm not coming back, I promise you guys, it was just like I've I've had peace ever since then. I had peace ever since then. Not only that, two weeks later, now I did get my last check, but guess what? Two weeks later, God also provided supernaturally. And I checked my bank account because I was just like, okay, well, I just got, I uh, just, you know, used most of my, most of, you know, the last of my check, you know, to pay my bills. And I was just like, okay, how much do I have left? So when I checked my bank account, it's extra money in there. Okay. And I'm just like, God, where did this come from? Where did this come from? And guys, it was a stimulus check. I had never gotten a stimulus check. Never. All the stimulus checks that, you know, they had been sending, I never got one. Not one. But supernaturally, I got one this time after I quit. 
So that's how you know God will provide. And not only that, if you be obedient, he, he, he will do exceedingly and abundantly, okay? If you just be obedient and trust him. So that's how you know if God is trying to tell you to quit, okay? If God is giving you signs, do whatever he's telling you to do. Trust him. And y'all, guess what? God uh, shared with me today that he does not want me to work under anybody anymore. Basically, he wants me to go full time being an entrepreneur. So, you know, like I've always wanted to do that. But God is saying it is time. It is your time. And I'm saying to you guys, it is your time. Whatever God is telling you to do, it is your time now. Now, it is your time now. Okay? So, I hope that this video encourages you guys. Um, I pray that it blesses you guys in a supernatural way. But um, just be encouraged and just know that God is going to take care of you. Okay? All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.